Most of you are probably aware that there's a huge chip shortage going on right now. And if you're not, then high level, essentially there is a lot of demand, but not enough supply for that demand right now. And so processors, graphics cards, everything that basically has silicon in it is going way up in price. And they're even having some difficulties manufacturing cars because there's a number of microchips that show up in most modern cars, all modern cars. So as a result, it's been really difficult for gamers to find high-end graphics cards or really any graphics cards. And so while AMD and Nvidia released new graphics cards models at the end of last year, and even into this year, we haven't been able to actually find any. Now, personally, I'm not a gamer. Um, I don't game that much, just kind of casually. And so as a result, this hasn't impacted me personally a lot, but I have been keeping an eye on stocks to see if I can pick up a 3070 or a, a 3080 that's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 and 3080. So then I can basically use it for video editing. Now, frankly, since I don't have a big demand for these graphics cards, I really haven't internalized how big of a deal it was until I went digging in my closet for the last graphics card that I used, this GeForce 970, which is from released in 2014. In 2014, this, this card, not specifically this model, but the GeForce 970 was released for a price of $329. And this model specifically, or this, this card specifically, I got basically out of a scrap heap for 50 bucks. Now that wasn't the going price, I found a good deal on it, but that was a couple of years ago. Now it's going on eBay for over $200, which is absolutely mind blowing for me. Like this card in my mind was just literally a graphics output. I would use it to add an HDMI and display port to a test bench that I was running. Or when I was building a new computer and I hadn't bought the graphics card yet, I was, gonna I was using this to test whether the graphics or the, the computer was working properly, which is absolutely wild. Now it's going for over 200 bucks. That just doesn't make a lot of sense. This card was fine when it was announced, but a lot has changed since then. Now we've got ray tracing and DLSS and smart access memory and a whole number of AAA games, a large number of AAA games that have been released since then that will probably significantly struggle to run on this card. So the reason that I'm making this video is just to show you how big of a deal this is. Even though I've been following the news, I didn't realize the shortage would drive prices of six, seven year old graphics cards up to near their original pricing. It doesn't make any sense. And I'm going to also be listing this card on eBay for an auction. I'm going to let it start the auction in a hundred bucks and we're gonna see where it goes. If you are personally interested in this card, then I will be offering a 20% discount on the final value of this card through the, the link in the description and using this offer code. Now, my recommendation is to not buy this card. If you can, there are probably better deals already out there and wait this out if possible. Hopefully the supply will catch up to the demand in the next year. Until then, survive on the cards that you currently have. Switch to, switch to um, consoles instead if you can find a, a modern Xbox for a reasonable price or modern PS5. I know that's also difficult. Or consider doing a streaming service like GeForce Now. I'm going to have a video coming up pretty soon where I talk about GeForce Now, the experience of GeForce Now on the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. So check out that video because it's actually a really compelling experience that is probably better than something like this. Thank you for watching NOISO. I hope you like this quick video and I hope this card gets in the hands of someone who actually needs it and for a relatively reasonable price. I'm hoping also that, this price, that the prices of graphics cards come down soon and supply is able to catch up to demand but we'll have to see what happens in the next year. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.